This is Stay Paid, a sales and marketing podcast on a mission to help you close more deals and retain more business. Welcome to another Silver Dollar episode of Stay Paid. My name is Joshua Stike. And I'm Luke Akery. And today, this is kind of an impromptu podcast. So yeah, we had I'm a fired guest. fired up today. <laughs> you are fired up. We had a guest interview scheduled. It uh, didn't work out. So uh, you actually just happened. I just had a coaching call. To get off of a coaching call yeah. with a real estate, a new real estate yeah, agent. Brand and, new two weeks in. Yep. And you came in. He said, you know what real estate agents need? Yeah. <laughs> Here, ding, they, ding, 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 they, ding, need, ding. they need scripts <laughs> to talk to their relationships, which is yeah, kind what of mind-boggling. you say when you call and, your sphere and your, your relationship? And I was yeah. real, though, with the person I was coaching. She's a superstar. She's awesome. She's already generated a bunch of leads. She's having great conversations, but she is terrified to call her sphere. Yeah. She's the, the relationships that actually so know her, awkward. like her, and trust her. <laughs> she's terrified to call. And you know the reason? You might be thinking to yourself, yeah, I don't like to call my friends and family either And you know, as a real estate agent. And it's because, first point, you have the wrong heart posture. You have the wrong mm. intent in your mind. You're thinking transactionally. Yeah. You're thinking transactional from the standpoint of, can I get a referral from this person? Can I get this person to buy, sell, or invest? I'm going to tell oh. them that I just got into real estate, and they'll say, great. Yeah. It's, and you. then where do I go? This would be an awkward conversation. Right. It's very transactional in your intent and not relational in your intent. Yeah. And you need to call from a relational standpoint. People know you like you and trust you. They want to know what's going on in your life and yeah. they want to celebrate your wins with you and they want to celebrate your goals with you. So simply calling someone up, you know, I was telling this person they're two weeks in, simply calling people up and letting them know of a huge life change for you. Yeah. Hey, you know, you're one of my friends. I just wanted to let you know of a huge life change for me. I actually jumped into real estate yeah, and I am license. so excited about it. And I'm trying to let everybody, all of my friends know one is because obviously we'd love to work with you, yep. but two is, uh, you know, just to let you know, Hey, this is the reason why I'm doing it. If you can, you know, wish me good luck. If you can be thinking about me and obviously, you know, um, helping me out anyway, that would be fantastic. The people who are close to you will want to do that for you. Yeah. The people who know, like, and trust you will want to do it. Your sphere on the outside, when you call them, if you have an intent to just let them know of a life update and then you go, what? This is my life update. Hey, any big things happen in your you? life right now? That's the second piece I wanted to give to people. It's like, first point is you need to have the right heart intent. Second point is you need to have relational conversations. Yeah. Your conversation is what's going on in your life, which opens them up to share what's happening in their life. And if you need a framework, to do these type of conversations, I always give people the framework of Ford. Yeah. You need to be talking about family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Mm -hmm. So when you're calling someone and you have your CRM in front of them, you can think to yourself, so if you call my wife, Megan, up, you know, Megan and I have a daughter, Evelyn. You know, we have two dogs. You should know these things, right? If you're close to me and I'm in your sphere and you should get to know these things, you know that Megan's not working right now. She was a teacher. You know, Luke, he's the president of Reminder Media. You can simply call up and literally go, hey, you know, wanted to check in. We haven't talked in a while. Wanted to catch up. How's life been going for you? How's little Evelyn doing? What, what is she? Is she almost like two now? How's she doing? And that will be like, oh yeah, life's been good. Evelyn's doing well. And then the key to conversation is not to be 20 questions or 21 questions. The key is always when I'm networking with people, when I'm talking to people on the phone, it's you ask them a question and then you reveal vulnerability about yourself. Yeah. It's not a one-way street. It's right. not like, hey, I'm interrogating you right now. Tell me what's going on in your life yeah. because I have to make my calls because Luke Acre told me to. Well, and I love how you started just by introducing, hey, you know, if this would be for a new agent, if you yeah. are getting into real estate, like you're offering up that information about your life and then asking them to open up about what's going on in their life. And also for and you're thinking, well, I don't know what, what their job is, or I don't know their, you know, m maybe you don't right now. That's something you've got to build and start documenting within your database, yep. but go to their LinkedIn, see what their current job is. Ask if they're still with X company, ask if they're still enjoying X field that they're working in, go yep. to their Instagram, check out what's happening. Here's the beautiful thing too, yeah. is you can literally say, how's work been going, right? And they'll reveal, and what do you think they're going to ask you next? How's your work? How's your, oh, well, <laughs> funny you should ask the market is really interesting yeah, right now, yeah. right? You don't have to say the market's bad. You don't have to say the market's good. Why? Because the market's different for every single buyer based upon their situation. We have a great opportunity right now with the changing times. I know the market is, is up and down, left and right, but like right now with the interest rates, like you have a great opportunity to be able to explain how that impacts people or some of the new programs that are even uh, in existence for, uh, for interest rates and this yep. idea that you can kind of, I guess, borrow against your interest rate or... Um, 
uh, I guess it's a step down, like interest yes. rate process or something like that. So there's a lot of interesting information that you have that you, that can, you can share with people that is newsworthy involved in current events that people are already talking about within their own circles. Of and friends. if you're thinking to yourself right now, you're not a new agent, but you haven't called your sphere because I know there's so many of you that are in that boat and you haven't talked to somebody in maybe a year. You haven't talked to somebody in six months. That's your intro. Yeah. My gosh, you popped into my heart and mind the other day. And I just realized we haven't spoken in six months. Shame on me. I'm sorry. I want to catch up and see how life's been going. You can literally call people with that intent. So the first thing is... And this to, works before you go on real quick. We're talking about real estate right now because you came off of a coaching call with, yeah, a, real with a real estate agent. agent. But it works this in works in insurance with life events. Look at all of the different life events that ultimately get impacted by uh, peace of mind and security and insurance with financial advice. So all of these things will work within any industry. Obviously, real estate is just because you came off that coaching Number call. Number one reason people leave their insurance agent yeah. when they're surveyed and asked, they lacked regular and meaningful communication from yeah. their agent. 44% of people in an insurance agent's database right now has not heard from their agent in the last I haven't heard months. from my advisor, my financial advisor, ever since I gave him money yeah. to invest. He's and a transactional advisor. The other day, I started looking at other financial. Yeah, it's crazy. I just started searching because I'm like, I don't know. I, why would I work with a guy who's not going to call me and let me know what's going on? Because here's the psychology behind it. And I taught this to our marketing coaches today. I was trying to hammer home for them. Guys, we have products and services we offer to people, but it's based upon trying to help them connect with other human beings and make sure they build relationships because relationships are the currency of business. And I shared with them, the reason you have to make these phone calls, the reason why you have to do marketing touch points is because you have to be frequent with somebody because frequency breeds familiarity. Like when you're frequent with somebody, they become familiar with you. They become comfortable. And familiarity is the necessary requirement for trust. Mm. It's not the only thing you need, right? You can be frequent with somebody and not trust them at all, right? But it's a necessary requirement. You have to have familiarity with somebody to want to trust them. The reason why you're looking for another financial advisor is maybe not even because your financial advisor is doing a bad job. It's because oh, I have you, no go, idea. Yeah, you go, you go, I don't know <laughs> I this haven't guy. Heard from him. <laughs> I don't know this guy. So therefore I don't trust this guy. And I don't know this guy because I haven't heard from this I guy. I would call me if I just lost the amount of money that I just, everyone just recently lost. Yeah, dude, like, I hey, lost. just here's, here's what's going on. Just so you know. I got killed in the market. And well, the I got familiarity. In Bitcoin, dude, I, I bought in at 32,000. Oh. It's like freaking, it was 18 the other day. Oof. The, um, this is a great example. I know we use Sean all the time, Sean Carpenter on the podcast, but like if anyone were to ever ask me, hey, do you know a real uh, a, a speaker that can come and talk to my real estate agents? The first person mm. on top of my mind would be Sean Carpenter. And we have met and interviewed hundreds yep. of speakers, but it's the familiarity. Yep. It's the fact that he's familiar because he's consistent with his touch points. He's always reaching out and texting. And that is so powerful when you apply that to what you are doing in yep. your business. Because you're comfortable with them. So first phase of calling your sphere is you have to have the right heart intent. You want to be relational, not transactional. Second piece is you want to have relational conversations when you call. Base it upon the Ford, family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Yeah. Dreams are in occupation can easily turn into what you do. And then the third point is after you do that, do not be afraid to then ask for business. Yep. What does that look like? Well, Dale Carnegie says this, 91% of people will refer you. They're happy to refer you. 11% of salespeople ask. Mm. Case in point right here. Our client success team was not doing very well on referrals. And so we have done a campaign, an initiative in our company of we need to get more referrals. Mm -hmm. So what's happened? We've started doing marketing around referrals. We've started to get on every phone call asking for referrals. Our referrals and client success and our marketing coaches have literally like tripled their amount of referrals in a month simply because they're asking. That's where our focus went, yeah. Yes. So for us, how does how does that look for you from a real estate agent's perspective or insurance agent's perspective? After I've had this great combo with Josh catching up on family, occupation, recreation, dreams, then I go, hey, Josh, man, love being in a, you know, having a relationship with you, being your real estate agent. If you need anything, please let me know because, you know, obviously I just want to work with more clients like yourself and I want to help you in anything you need. And I'd also love for you to connect me to anybody in your family, in your sphere that might need help and resources. I have a lofty goal for my business this year. I want to help a hundred families. And if I could help a hundred Josh's, it'd be phenomenal. You might not think so, but I would think so. It'd be phenomenal. And so is there anybody you can connect me with? 
People out there are connected on average over a course of a year to three to five people that need a real estate agent's expertise. I don't know the stats and in insurance, but it's probably similar, right? <laughs> three to five people. Probably more. <laughs> if you just do that for 50 people, you have a potential of 250 opportunities in your reach yep. that you can get. You're not going to get all of them. Could you get 10%? Could you close 25 deals? If you close 25 deals, you're in the top 3% of real estate agents nationwide. Yep. Simply by asking, by making that phone call. And here's key points there. Bar bets yep. said, don't ask for a referral asked to be connected or well, ask for the introduction. Yeah. Ask for that introduction. Is there anyone that you can introduce me to? It's yeah. phenomenal advice because referral kind of sounds salesy. People yeah. know what you're asking for when you ask for a referral. So ask for an introduction to be connected to. And then the other point is going, even if you don't get a referral, you planted the seed mm -hmm. and you have no idea how powerful that is when you plant the seed in someone's mind. And then you now drip on them with marketing you're watering that seed. And now they remember, yeah, Luke needs referrals. Yeah, Luke wants referrals. Yeah, Luke can help any of my sphere. And you water that, and that's what top producers do, and that's why they make the big bucks. Absolutely. So there you go. There's a quick impromptu silver dollar yeah, episode just from the heart, man. That was just straight <laughs> out of a coaching call. Uh, what we're seeing when working with tens of thousands of yep. real estate agents in multiple areas of our business, both with our branded magazines and following up with past clients, as well as some of the lead generation and some of the, the calls and scripts that people can be using to start building their business. Thank you so much for listening. You can head on over to staypaidpodcast.com for the show notes and the video of this episode. And if you're interested in supporting the show, I'm going to switch it up here. We've got some new gear, oh. some merch available. So Reminder we're, we're Media. We're going big time now. Reminder merch. Media is our company. We've got Reminder Media gear. We've got Stay Paid gear. We've got some Take Action gear. We've actually had some people requesting in, a lot of people requesting in, hey, how can I get that shirt? How can I get that hat? How can I get that whatever? Uh, so you can go to ReminderMedia.com slash shop to get that gear. We sell it for cost. So yes. what you're paying is what we pay, free shipping. You can go on over there. We are not in the apparel business, There's but we cool want to provide our fans the gear. Baby. I just went on and bought like five new shirts. I'm like, man, we got some new colors up there. I, I have a uh, Stay Paid hoodie. The Stay Paid hoodie. Yes. This right here. There you go. Well, be careful. That one's not available anymore. On the oh, show. Right. <laughs> that's Ooh. limited edition. You better frame that. That's, that's going to be worth something. Hey, that's a, that's a golden nugget, though. Make sure that you grab the gear that's available now. That's so Because it might be retiring there soon. Yeah. Uh, all right. I had to grab this dad joke real quick. So I'm not sure how great it's going to be, but do you know, uh, wait, do, uh, what does a baby computer call its father? Actually, this is pretty funny. What does a baby computer call its father? Data. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> If you want to get a hold of me or Luke, you can email us at podcast at ReminderMedia.com. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram. We're on TikTok. We're on Facebook at Stay Paid Podcast. For this episode of Stay Paid, I'm Joshua Stike. Guys, and I'm Luke Acre. Easy action item. Call your sphere. You don't have to call all 100 in a day. You can literally call two, three a day over the course of a month. You'll hit a bunch of people. But you must make calls every single day to somebody in your sphere to check in on them. Be the relational agent, not the transactional one. It will change the game for you. Remember, the difference between top producers and mediocre producers in every single business is top producers take action. Take action on that today.